In this video, I'm gonna be showing you a method for making money on ClickBank in your first few days or weeks promoting products. And the best part is what I'm gonna show you does not require you to have any audience whatsoever to get started. We're gonna go over a few things, including how to find keywords online that no one else is targeting and no one else is going for. We're gonna show you how to dominate those keywords for pennies and spending almost nothing. And then at the end, we're gonna talk about scaling. We're gonna show you how you can scale this method very, very quickly within your first month or two to thousands of dollars a month. Now let's have a real moment for a second and talk real talk here and be honest and say that ClickBank is not my favorite place to find products to promote. You know, if anyone's been on ClickBank for very often that's watching this video, you end up with a lot of lower quality products that end up on the platform. But I do think that ClickBank can be a decent platform for beginners because it tends to have high converting funnels and it has a lot of products and a lot of niches that you can start promoting right away as a beginner. Uh, you don't have to apply for a lot of them and anything like that. The cool thing about what we're gonna show you right here is that it can apply outside of ClickBank as well. You can use this with the Amazon affiliate program. You can go out there and find other affiliate programs that aren't in, you know, that kind of run their own and host their own affiliate program. And you can take everything that we're talking about and teaching in this video and you can do the exact same thing. So if you're like me and you're looking at some of those ClickBank products and some of those ClickBank funnels and you're saying, I wouldn't promote this to my worst enemy, that's okay. This method will still work for you as well. So let's dive right in and we'll kind of go over how we're gonna be going about doing this. Now we're gonna be taking a different route than traditional affiliate marketing. Typically when I'm teaching affiliate marketing, I say we've got to choose a niche and then we've got to find a product, right? But we're gonna actually reverse that on this one method because this method is key keyword centric, meaning we need to actually find good keywords and find things that people are searching for. And then we're actually going to find the right ClickBank product next and match that up with what people are looking for. So it's a little different than we typically do. We're going to dive right into keyword research without knowing our niche, without knowing the product we're going to promote. And then I'm going to show you how to find these really cool keywords that no one is targeting. As with most of my tutorials that involve stuff like this, we're going to be using a tool called Ahrefs. Now Ahrefs is awesome. It's, it's probably the most powerful tool that I use in my entire business. That being said, it can be a little expensive if you're a beginner, but they've got a seven day, $7 trial, I think that they run most of the time. So you can sign up for a trial for seven bucks and you can do everything we're teaching in this video in that small period of time. And you won't have to spend 99 or $129 a month in order to get access to this software. So once you sign up for Ahrefs, what this tool is, is it's, it's basically the most powerful spy on the internet. It can tell you anything that people are doing online uh, in terms of, of Google, like what they're searching on Google, what, what people, what advertisers are doing on Google, all kinds of things. And it has got a lot of information. So you're going to sign up and you're going to go to Keyword Explorer right here. And we're essentially going to start looking at what people are typing into Google uh, at different times. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna select Google as our option here, and we're only gonna type in one word. That's kind of the funny thing here. We're gonna type in the word best, okay? And we're gonna refine this a lot more as we go on, but all we're typing out in the beginning is the word best. And then it's gonna give us these options right here, and we're gonna go to matching terms. We're saying, hey, Ahrefs, I want you to find anything people search in Google that has the word best. And then we've got to start refining it a lot more. Obviously, there's a million words. Most of them seem to be best by. So what we're going to do is we're actually going to include the word right here. And we're going to say the word for. Okay? That's all we're going to say. We're going to have it include the word for, and we're going to click apply. Now it has to have the word best, but it also has to have the word for somewhere in there. Okay, so now we eliminated all the Best Buy stuff, right? Now we're gonna go over here to where it says volume. And we're gonna say, hey, if it's not getting at least a couple hundred searches a month, this method probably won't be that great. Okay, so we, we want things to have two, ideally like 500, but anything from two to 500, you can still make this work. And we're gonna cut out all the stuff that doesn't have that much search volume on Google. Now we're gonna move over here just a little bit more over here where it says more filters. And we're gonna click on, sorry, cost per click right here. And we're gonna go on where it says uh, maximum. And we're gonna say, I don't want anything over, and you can do this how you want, this number can change, but for me, I'm gonna do like 30 cents. Meaning I want searches where I can run ads, but I want it to cost less than 30 cents for me to be able to run an ad. Meaning I want the cheap stuff, okay? The, the non-competitive stuff. We're gonna click apply right there. And then we're gonna go to SERP features right here. Okay, and we're gonna go to SERP features and we're gonna exclude a, four, a few things. We're gonna try to exclude top ads. Meaning, you know, when you search on Google and there's a, you know, four or five different advertisers that'll run ads right at the top, we want no one to be running ads uh, to these keywords, okay? We also want no bottom ads, okay? And if possible, I usually say that I don't want any shopping results as well. And we're gonna click apply. And so what we've done is we've created this massive filter, okay? We, we've said, hey, we're looking for things that people are searching in Google, that a lot of people are searching for in Google, that have the word best and the word for in them, and we want there to not be any other ads. And if I choose to run an ad on that keyword, I want it to be cheap. I want it to be the cheapest 
thing I could possibly spend a click on, right? As low as one cent sometimes I've seen. Now, if you're not starting to recognize the beauty of what you're doing here, uh, you should pause for a second and recognize that. Maybe even give a little like while you do that pause because we like likes. But what we've done here is we've refined this to buyers. We've zoomed in on people that are typing things into Google that are holding a wallet in their hand. And they're saying, hey, I've got a problem. I wanna solve it, I wanna solve it right now. What's the best product that I can buy and spend money on to uh, fix this problem, right? We love those people. And the cool thing is we're, we're finding ways to target those people now cheap, meaning we can target those people for pennies, which is crazy. You, you won't, won't see, see anything, anything like, like this, this on, on Facebook, Facebook ads. ads. But now comes the kind of the refining part where we're gonna just manually look through here, right? Best sewing machine for beginners. That's a money keyword. Okay, that's somebody with a wallet. They're saying, hey, I wanna buy a sewing machine. And wow, that blows my mind. There's thousands and thousands of people every month looking to buy sewing machines and they're just starting out. And that's that's a credit card in hand keyword, right? And you can see here, it's only 25 cents in a cost per click. And that's a beautiful thing because what? Because guess what? We now have this uh, this person that's willing to spend probably a couple hundred to a thousand dollars. I honestly have no clue what a sewing machine would cost, but, uh, but we're able to target that person for pennies, okay? And they're willing to spend hundreds of dollars. So let's look down at a few more of these. Best motherboard for gaming. Okay, somebody looking to buy a motherboard. That niche is so far out of what I could possibly uh, do. I don't think I would ever even attempt to get into something that involves the word motherboard. Um, best condoms for feeling. We won't go over that. Best stool softener for daily use. Okay, so this is somebody that's having some constipation issues and there's about 6,000 people that are saying, hey, I'm looking for some kind of stool softener that I can use every single day. Once again, they've got a problem. I'm assuming this person wants to solve this problem very, very quickly. I know I would. And there are credit cards in their hand as they look. So I could go down this whole list and tell you probably there's there's 10 to 15 different keywords where there's quite a bit of money involved. There's, there's keyword right here, best webcam for streaming, right? There's a lot of money in that. Uh, best harness for cats. I know animal people spend a lot of money. <laughs> I personally can't imagine spending a penny on an animal, but that's just me. I hope not to offend all animal people out there. So let's move move on now and we're gonna connect products to this, okay? We've, we've found these keywords where there's a lot of potential. And the next thing I would typically do is I'll, you'll go into the, uh, an incognito window here and you're actually gonna verify that information. Ahrefs isn't right all the time. It could be that there was no one running ads when Ahrefs actually got their data. So we'll wanna click in here, open an incognito window and we'll kind of test it out, right? So best harness for cats might be one. And I'll bet you there's some shopping results there. You can see there's some shopping results, but there's no regular results, okay? And if I scroll to the bottom, it looks like same thing. There's no people running ads in kind of the regular results right below this, okay? There's just people naturally ranking right here. So this is a decent one. Now, I'll be honest, they're, I'm assuming these harnesses are like five, 10 bucks, so this might not be one we wanna target because we typically wanna make a little bit more money off of each sale if we're spending money on clicks. Um, but I would look, that sewing machine one is a good one, that stool softener, that, that constipation thing. I'm sure there's some products on ClickBank we can work with for there. So let's dive in and actually use that one. We'll kind of confirm best stool softener for daily use, softener. Okay, we'll kind of look here and look, there is nobody, looks like there are two ads at the bottom, but no ads at the top. Okay, meaning these guys are probably bidding um, a very small amount, or they might even be doing the method that we're talking about right here. Okay, and I actually, looking at those two sites, I think that's exactly what's happening right here. Um, so I think this is a great shot for us to go and see if we can make this work, okay? Preferably there'd be no ads at the top and bottom, and you can see Ahrefs got it wrong, but that's okay, we can still make this work. Um, I would probably go spend an hour diving through all these different keywords and find the perfect one that had no competition whatsoever, no ads anywhere on it. Um, but for the sake of this tutorial, we'll continue to move on. So now we're gonna head over to ClickBank and we're gonna type in something over here like laxative, okay? I, that's what stool softener is, right? We type in the word laxative, and you can see here some different products come up. Now, depending on how new you are to ClickBank, there's some really important numbers you need to pay attention to. This big one right here is gravity, which essentially tells us how much this product is selling, how often are people actually making sales with this product, and if you see a gravity of zero or no gravity whatsoever, uh, that can be a worrisome number. Uh, essentially says no one's making sales, no one's promoting this product at all. Not a great sign, right? They're probably not either taking their program seriously or the affiliates are trying and not getting any sales. Neither one of those is a great uh, thing for us to be targeting. But you can see right here, Gravity of 30 is great. It looks like a product that we can promote. You can see it's got a great amount per conversion, okay? $67, which is actually pretty crazy. I didn't think we'd see that in, in this particular space. And you can see right here, it says this offer is crushing it with an average of $1.50 to $2 earning per click, which is great because if we go over to here, right, we can see that on average, it would cost us about 30 cents to get a click and we can definitely find keywords that are 
like this that are much below that. So we can get that 30 cents quite a bit down, I would imagine. And we're making, on average, if we can get someone to click over to this product, right, we can do as much as $4, which you'll find on this particular method that we, we tend to be on the high end of the earnings per click, meaning we make a little more than the average affiliates because we're not sending like random traffic over saying, hey, if you've got an issue with constipation, you know, go over here. We're sending traffic that's like, I do have an issue with constipation and it's happening right now and my stomach hurts and I wanna fix it right this instant, right? So we tend to get a little higher earnings per click using this search method that we're that we're talking about right here. But what you're gonna have to do is you're gonna click promote there and you're gonna get your affiliate link from these guys. These guys, I looks like they, we can click over to here and looks like they've got all the information we need for affiliates, they've got payouts, they've got everything you gotta do. You probably have to apply, it looks like you have to fill out a form or something like that, tell them what you're doing, and they're gonna spit out an affiliate link for you. Now the way that I would go about this is I would use multiple affiliate programs, meaning I would take a couple from ClickBank and then I would take a couple from Amazon. Okay, if you're an Amazon affiliate, I would go go ahead under Amazon and get a few affiliate links for products as well. If you're not an Amazon affiliate, then uh, you should sign up to become an Amazon affiliate. But what I would do is I would kind of start with that ClickBank product and maybe the one right beneath it. So one or two ClickBank products that I'd kind of research and see which ones I wanted to promote. And then I'd go to Amazon and you can see there's a bunch of cheaper options right here that you could send people to as well. And so you can kind of target both audiences, right? ClickBank tends to be higher priced products. It tends to give them like plans and things like that. And there are some people, quite a bit of people that are just looking to head over to Amazon and find the best one. So I would throw in a few of these links further down as well and kind of get the best of both worlds, right? We really, we really want to, we really need to make as much as possible off each click that we get because we're spending money on these clicks. And the whole goal here is to make more money than we spend. And luckily we're not spending a lot on these clicks. Now it comes time to create a landing page. And this is gonna be kind of a unique landing page. So Google, sometimes I've seen it work and it's been crazy when it does, but Google doesn't love you to just send someone directly to ClickBank. Meaning if I you know, type in best laxative, or whatever it is that we're typing in here, they don't like you to run an ad that just sends someone straight to a ClickBank affiliate link. Sometimes you might, but a lot of times you're gonna get in trouble for that. So what we need to do instead is we need to create kind of an intermediary page and we run into issues here as well, meaning that Google doesn't necessarily love what they call bridge pages. So we need to create a data filled page that is actually helpful to people and will actually pass Google saying, oh, this page actually looks like a very helpful page versus this looks like a page that's just meant to get someone to click as quick as humanly possible and get them off of that page. So what I'll typically do here is I'll actually just type in the keyword and start to look at some of the organic results. Okay, what I mean by organic results is when I type in best stool softeners for daily use, we've got some people that are you know, putting some ads right here, but then there's a bunch of these results right here. And looking here, it's a little tougher in this particular space because Google in the health space, they tend to kind of not promote small blogs, which is really frustrating. But what we're looking for is a page that we can kind of mimic and do something similar to what they are doing. And so one of the pages that I came across, I think these ones were actually running paid ads, is this page right here. And you can see they've got basically a very simple page that just has links to more info for a bunch of these different ones. I wouldn't even be surprised, this one takes me to eBay. Okay, so very similar to the Amazon affiliate program. And you can bet these are just affiliate links right here. Okay, looks like these guys are all about promoting eBay on this one, which is fine, eBay has affiliate program as well. So now we're gonna create a landing page and you can do this in whatever landing page builder that you prefer. Uh, typically I'll use either ClickFunnels or Elementor for mine, but we're gonna make a page that looks very similar to this. Now here's the, the, the catch 22, the balance that we're gonna have to, to meet here. We need to make sure there's enough information that Google doesn't get rid of our ads. So like this one I would say is a little light on information and I would be a little worried that Google would say, hey, there's not enough information here, you're not being very helpful, you're just trying to get people to click through. You think you can fool me? So instead, you're gonna wanna add a little bit more text. Maybe you're gonna to explain to them a little description, okay? And a little, little headline, the best for this, and a little description, and then a button. But you need to make sure, the real key here is you can see how prominent these buttons are, okay? Very, very quickly, someone coming to this page is going to click one of these links, and we really need that. We need somebody very, very soon after they click over to our landing page to click one of our affiliate links, whether it's to ClickBank or they scroll down and head over to Amazon, preferably ClickBank in this case, obviously, since we're promoting ClickBank, but it's okay if they head over to Amazon or eBay in this case as well. All right, so you can see it took me a total of about 15 minutes to do this. No, I didn't fill it with all the different products for the sake of the tutorial, but you can see here, this page is a decent looking page. Um, I didn't copy everything they did, you can see, but I kind of mimicked the idea of it. Um, could probably make it look 
a little bit better if I was tinkering with it a little bit more. Um, but you can see here, it's a pretty good page and we can now start running ads to a page like this. Now, if you have no idea what you're doing in terms of creating a landing page, I'm gonna throw a link over here uh, to a tutorial where we, we talk you through everything on how to build landing pages, whether you're using ClickFunnels or Elementor. But be it said, it's not very hard to build these landing pages. And most people that get into this learn to build landing pages very, very quickly. So we now have a landing page and this is kind of my site where I do all kinds of fun things like this. So what we're gonna do now is we need to get the link to the landing page. Okay, so I'm gonna go into here, I'm gonna click publish right here, and it's going to give me a link. And you can see right here, when you get here, you probably wanna click this button right here, right? It's very predominant, it's very, uh, hits your eyes, and you kinda of go there and say, oh, I wanna click that one. And when someone clicks that link, it's an affiliate link, and they now head over right here to our ClickBank link, okay? So now all we need to do is we built everything out, we need to get traffic to what we've just created. And we've already seen that traffic uh, is available on Google, and it's available for very, very cheap. So we're gonna utilize that traffic and it's not very hard. A lot of people get intimidated creating ads, but if you're familiar with Google, all we're gonna do is head over to Google right here and the ads look just like this right here. Okay, our ads are not very big, they're not complicated, they don't have pictures, they don't have videos, it's just a couple lines of text. That's what makes Google Ads very, very easy for beginners. And so you don't even have to, if you don't want to, create the text, you can just go look at this text for the organic results, right, some of this uh, organic result text and you can kind of just combine them and create your own and then we'll run an ad to that. So you're gonna need to go sign up for an ads account if you don't have a Google Ads account. All you'll do is go to ads.google.com and from there it'll take you through a sign up process and you'll end up on a page that looks like this. And you'll end up on a page that looks just like this one right here. Now on this page, all we've gotta do is go down to campaigns, okay? Overview, campaigns, plus new campaign. And we're gonna create a campaign in Google that runs to this keyword that we've just created. And what we're gonna be doing here is we're gonna be creating a campaign for the keyword that we found in Ahrefs, okay? And a bunch of other keywords like that. And we're gonna be sending it to this new landing page that we've just created. So you're gonna go here and you're gonna say that your objective is website traffic. Now, you can go a lot deeper with this. You can do conversion tracking, you can do all kinds of things. So if you're a Google Ads expert, we can go that route. And I'm gonna leave a link down below to a course that's, I think it's 15 bucks, and will teach you everything you need to know to master Google Ads. But for the sake of this tutorial, we'll go through the simplest way that you could go about this. So we're gonna click website traffic, and then it's gonna give us all these different kinds of ads that we can run inside of Google. We're gonna say, I wanna run search ads. And we're gonna scroll down here and it's gonna ask for your business website. So we'll throw in this new site that we've just added and then we'll name our campaign. And we will say uh, stool softener. That's a great campaign name. And we'll click continue right here. Okay, now it wants you to set a budget for your first day or two. Uh, set a small budget, okay? Set a budget of five, ten dollars as we start to tinker with this and see if it will work. And Google has gotten really annoying with all these recommendations. So if it does that, just exit out of it. Um, it's not that hard and you can just follow this tutorial. So I'm gonna say that we wanna do about ten dollars. Google's gonna say, no, we want you to spend 20. We're gonna say, too bad. And then it's gonna ask what you wanna focus on, okay? Now for this, what we're doing right now, we're just gonna say clicks. We're gonna say, I just wanna get as many clicks as I can for on this particular keyword. And then we're gonna set a maximum cost. Okay, we don't wanna ever really spend more than 30 cents because that's, uh, we already kinda know that, we, that it's possible to get them for under that. And so for now, we're just gonna, as we're testing, just gonna set it to that. And we're gonna go on to next right here, okay? We're gonna turn off display network, right? We're just trying to run this in search. We're just trying to run this for people that are specifically searching for this. We're gonna go down here and you can select um, different countries and territories. You'll wanna be really careful to look in the ClickBank terms and make sure that you're not running ads to places where ClickBank can't sell or can't run a credit card because if that's the case, obviously that's a problem and uh, you're not gonna make any money you know, regardless of whether people click your links. So we'd start by maybe saying just the United States right here and then we're gonna scroll down just a little bit further and we're all good to go. Now it's gonna give us all kinds of different keywords that we can run with, okay? So we found the one, right? That was kind of our main core keyword, but there's actually quite a bit of different keywords. And this is where it looks good. You can see right over here, it's giving you some a little bit of an idea of what we're looking at here and it says, hey, your average cost per click will be 10 cents if you use all of these different keywords. Okay, so like we said, that one that it gave us, um, there's much more keywords than just that single one that have cheaper cost per clicks and we already got it down to 10 cents. Now you can look through here and you're gonna wanna be very specific about the ones you remove. Okay, you only want the hottest traffic. Okay, you don't want someone that's just typing in stool softener. You want this one, the best stool softener for daily use, right? The more specific we get, the better our conversion will be because our ad is going to be geared around specifically these people that are looking for daily use. So something you're gonna think about as you build this whole thing is continuity, okay? Is what they type into Google very specifically what your ad 
shows them? And is the ad that you show them very specifically what the landing page shows them? And if you have this continuity that goes through there, you'll get a lot more sales versus somebody that's looking for best stool softener for pregnant women, right? And then you take them to a page that says best stool softener for daily use. Most of them are gonna leave because that's not what they were looking for. You didn't give them exactly what they were looking for, okay? But you can see right here, um, daily stool softener and you could even test like just straight up best stool softener and see if that keyword works because it could because a lot of people are probably looking for daily use you could say best laxatives for daily use okay that might be one we look at and we're kind of just going to go through all of this and you can see daily laxative okay so there's a lot best daily stool softener and you can see that as we remove certain keywords our average cost per click will change and now it's changed to about 17 bucks or three dollars a day or 17 clicks, sorry, at an average cost per click of 18 cents, and our cost will be about $3 a day. So now we've just created this ad that could potentially start making money tonight while we're sleeping if it gets approved, right? And it's only gonna cost us $3 a day to run these ads. We just need one of these 17 people to buy and we'll be profitable. One quick item of note, I'm just hopping in here as I'm reviewing this video before it goes live and realize we forgot one quick step. Around each of those keywords that we put in there, we need to put brackets around the keyword. So you can see right now the keyword is just sitting there, we want to put a bracket on either end of that keyword, every single one of those in the beginning to make sure that Google just shows our ads to the people that are looking for that exact thing. Continue on. So let's dive in and actually start creating the ad that we're talking about right here. So we go down to here and it's got, uh, this is where we create the ad is right beneath this. Now I'm gonna be fully honest with you and say that Google is very frustrating and they keep changing this, this um, back end here. And so you may be looking at a totally different thing when you go to create your ad, because this has changed in the last few weeks even. But what we're gonna be doing here is we're gonna be creating a headline and then we're gonna be creating a description. Okay, and if we go to Google and I typed in best laxative, I wanna show you what we're looking at right here. You can see right here, this is a headline, this big thick part, and then the smaller text is the description. And that's all we're creating, okay? So we're gonna create a headline and we need to make sure that exactly what they're looking for is being targeted in our headline. And we'll create a few different headlines for Google to test against. So the first one might be best best stool softener for daily use. Oh, well, that's too big. You can see it's right there. So we'd shrink in it. We'd shrink in that. We'd shrink in that a little, little bit. So we're gonna shrink it a little bit and I'm gonna say best stool softener for daily use. Okay, now you're gonna wanna pin this and say, hey, I want that one to always be in position one. Welcome to the new Google. It's a little bit frustrating. And then I'm okay with this. Google's probably gonna want me to put in more, but we're gonna scroll down here. We're gonna add a new description, okay? And where I get that description is probably just from the website of the company where we're going to be sending, okay? So right here is where we're sending people. So now I'm gonna find a nice description in here that I think will work that's about one sentence long. And the first sentence that I found that kind of looked nice was this one right here. BioBoost is a combination of four different science-backed prebiotic fibers to help you enjoy the perfect poop on a daily basis, okay? So I'll take that and maybe I'll break it into two right here. Uh, but essentially you're just creating two lines of a description, right, in, that we're gonna show in Google and then you're creating a headline. And we're gonna tinker with this. You can try a bunch of different ones. Just make sure that they speak very specifically to what your audience is looking for and what they're typing in. Now it might ask you about site link extensions and some other things. In the beginning, we're not gonna worry about any of that stuff. Uh, that stuff can tend to overcomplicate our campaigns. So we're just gonna say, no, we're good to go. I typically do add call-out extensions and call-out extensions essentially are just an option to kind of give a few words that kind of grab their attention. So great for men and women might be one, okay? We want it to say great for men and women. Um, and we're just trying to call out specific audiences and catch their eye with our ad. Um, so perfect for constipation constipation, little things like that, right? Like if it says on their page that it's organic, I don't know if it is, but you might say something like organic, right? We're gonna add these kind of little call outs that, that uh, might grab people's attention and get them excited. Okay, then we click save. I'm actually gonna click cancel here and then we're gonna click next. Now, if you're anything like me, every time you go to create an ad, there's some issue at the end and we'll have to go fix that. Now, in my case, it wanted me to add a few more options for headlines. Google doesn't like when you only give them one option and tell them you want to run this specific ad. But what we're gonna be doing here is we're gonna publish this campaign. Okay, I'm gonna click publish this campaign and you're gonna look over everything, make sure everything looks good, and then it's gonna take a few hours to get approved. And you might see Google disapprove it. So we talked a little bit about wanting more text. This is one where I would probably try to add a paragraph description underneath each of these that kind of goes over it a little better and really makes it a little bit easier for people to make a, a real good decision and actually helps people with that. So the one thing I would say, and the, and the typical reason you'll get approved is, or you'll get disapproved, is if they, one, don't like, if you're, they feel like you're saying a lie or something on this page, and then two, they might not like that um, there's not very much content. So you might just wanna add a full paragraph 
paragraph of text under each of these to help them out. A couple other things they might not like. Um, they want a privacy policy. They want a disclaimer. Okay, so this whole site was created in about two hours uh, by me. This page is created in about 20 minutes. Neither of these take a long time to do and they only have to be done once and you can test it dozens of different products on these pages. So what we've done here is we've found the, the keywords that have really low cost per clicks but still have lots of buyers involved in, in Google. Next, we found the perfect products to promote to those people both on Amazon and on ClickBank. Okay, so that we can target both different audiences. Uh, next, we've signed up and become an affiliate and then we've created a landing page right here. Okay, and there's plenty of YouTube videos on how to create simple landing pages like these ones right here. And then we've created an ad in Google that's very, very simple. You can see right here, this is what my ad is going to look like. And it's just a short, small little ad that shows up right when somebody searches uh, any of these keywords, um, but specifically the best stool softener for daily use. Okay, they click that in, they see this, they go to the page, we've got some recommendations for them. One thing I would quickly say, try to make this real, like try to be genuine here and actually help people, meaning do some research and actually find the best products and, and the best products for different uses and things like that. Uh, you'll find that you can actually help people make good decisions and still make money in the process of that. So don't just whip something out, like try to actually make a decent uh, page where decent researchers put into it and you can actually help people and get paid, which is how true affiliate marketing should work. You'll also have to refine this as you go along. You'll look at your campaign and you'll find that some of these keywords aren't working and you'll find that some of them are, okay? And some of them are costing you twice as much to get a click and some of them are costing half as much and you'll just refine it as you go and you'll uh, once you start making money you can start making more and more money very very quickly by adding new keywords so you can see here this is 14 clicks a day Originally, there was over a hundred clicks a day. And so you can broaden out and you can make new landing pages that are to other specific audiences, right? The best laxative for men, best laxative for women. And that's how you start to scale this. You just create a new campaign for each one of these things. And it scales very, very, very quickly once you started to make some money with this. And this tutorial has already gone far further and longer than we thought it would, which is okay, because we hopefully shared everything that you need to know to have success with this method. Let me know in the comments down below if you have questions. And if you're new to affiliate marketing or not doing as well as you hoped you would be with affiliate marketing. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel because there's plenty more content just like this one coming out soon.